Hi everyone. In this video, I would like to talk about a common issue many users face while connecting to the Citrix environment. So when a user is trying to connect from a laptop or any other device, sometimes the user would get an error saying that the remote session was disconnected because there are no terminal server license servers available to provide a license. Please contact the server administrator. Even though the error states that license servers are not available, uh, when you start troubleshooting this problem, you will find out that the license are available on the license server, but for some reason, users are not able to connect to the Citrix environment. So in this particular scenario, what a user can do is on the user machine, just go to search and type regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. It's R-E-G-E-D-I-T. It's, it's called registry editor. So you need to run this as administrator, just right click on it and you see run as administrator. So run as administrator. Now this would come up on the screen. So you have to uh, click on H key local machine, the third one. You have to click on it. Once you click on it, you see various options here and then you see software here. Just click on software. Once you click on software, you will see Microsoft here. Okay, just click on Microsoft and you need to look for a key called ms licensing okay it's ms like microsoft licensing just scroll down scroll down just keep keep scrolling down you see here ms licensing okay so all you need to do is just right click on it okay if you want to backup it's always good to backup registries before you modify any changes on your computer so that if something is not working as expected you can revert it so just Click on export and do a small backup. Okay. Say something like license backup. Okay. And save it on your desktop or some documents. Once that is done, right click on MS licensing and click on delete. And it says, are you sure you want to permanently delete this key and all of its sub keys? Just go ahead and click yes. Okay. Once it is done, the key has been deleted. Now, what you have to do is you need to restart your computer or your laptop. Just restart your computer and try to log into your Citrix environment and connect to your Citrix environment and try to launch the application. And you should be able to launch the application this time without any issues. I hope you find this information helpful. If you have any questions or something, you can always leave a comment. Thank you.